In September 2010, global media thinkers from all over the world gathered in Amsterdam to debate the future of journalism. Held at the annual Picnic Creative Conference, the one-day programme was hosted by European non-profit media organisation, the European Journalism Centre. Headlining was What Would Google Do author and blogger Jeff Jarvis, along with other influential journalists and bloggers. We talk a lot about the, on, on the business side, about two revenue streams, of course, which is advertising and circulation revenue. We don't often talk about the efficiency, and the internet really brings us that because it allows journalism to be collaborative and specialized, and it allows you to uh, just do what you do best and link to the rest, and, and I think that's an important part of this. Ways to monetize and secure the future of news were key topics on the day. But as well as discussing the successes and failures of recent years in the media industry, speakers also focused on reconstructing journalism for the future. Well, I think that if you believe in the journalistic mission of um, freedom of speech, access to information and participation in public life, that getting active in the copyright wars is important because the copyright wars are changing the fundamental nature of our networks. When I became a journalist on the Financial Times, now a long time ago, um, no one asked me what my business model was. No one said, how do you expect to make money? Because it was obvious it was advertising and the cover price. And no one asked me, how do you think you're going to interact in forums, discussions with your readers? And what do you think your readers will do with what you write? Now it's virtually inescapable to do that. And so media is, is as we speak, being transformed by that. And so media industries that used to be able to rely on commanding an audience and charging them a price can no longer do that. And that's a really fundamental change. And it's having a huge disruptive impact on those industries. Covering perspectives from across the industry as it experiences big changes, the programme was an upbeat look at journalism's possibilities in the years to come. UK blogger Paul Bradshaw and Media Shift's Mark Glazer were joined by paid content founder Rafat Ali, Howard Finberg from the Pointer Institute, and many more. Well, wait, there is no secure way forward. I've been doing investigative journalism since, oh, well, let's say 1978, I think. Okay, it's never been secure, but I always had a job. I always tell my students that. If you know how to investigate, you'll always have a job because there's always somebody who needs to know what went on. Okay, and there's always somebody to whom it matters so much that they'll enable you to live while you do it. Okay, so that's, that's not secure. You have to hustle but you can live doing what you love if you love to investigate. Too much innovation is focused on technology. And there's a lot of emphasis that, uh, you know, that you know, economic success will come through technology innovation. And I'm not arguing against that, but there's on an equal level needs to be innovation in the application of technology. I think that, um I mean, the big difference is that you actually can can have the audience participating to a story, and I think that I mean that is absolutely the next media I want to be part of, which is a, a, a media where the audience becomes the editor, the researcher, the 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 the, the truth seeker uh, in in a way that has never really been experienced. Which is again, like the most important is how how you begin.